Hi everyone, I'm Scott from Sharky's Floral and Greenhouses and today the topic is verbena, the very beautiful little flower that you're seeing here. This little poofy flower, uh, the blues on this side, the pinks on this, the, the dark deep reds, that is all verbena. It's an awesome flower that we love using in our combination planters and hanging baskets. And we just want to highlight it today, but we do want to let you know that you do need to clean it up. It's one of those that needs to be deadheaded, and I know that's kind of a dirty word. And if you know me, you know my opinion on super petunias and the, the way petunias that I don't deadhead those at all. That's not the case with verbena. But don't let that be a deterrent for you because it, it obviously turns out beautiful. It's very easy to do, and you just need to stay on top of it. That's why I like to tell our customers is cleaning up the verbena, do a little bit each week. That way you always have nice fresh verbena and it's always producing nice flowers. Now, if you just let that hanging basket go, it's all gonna go at the same time and then you're not gonna have any fresh verbena. So, what I like to tell the customers is to go through and we always mention our Fertilizer Friday is a great day to remember to fertilize your, your plants and flowers with our Beat Your Neighbor Fertilizer. That Friday, then, you know, while you're fertilizing, then also remember, oh yeah, I have a hanging basket with verbena in it. I'm going to go ahead and clean it up. So it just takes a little time. And the way that we do it is this flower is spent. And I'm just going to nip it off right behind. So that's all I'm doing to clean up the verbena. You can use both hands. You just go through and quickly go through, clean it up. And... It really, it, it doesn't take much time, but you want to keep it nice and full and just keep remembering to do that once a week. So we have verbena in in pots that we sell and it kind of, it's kind of one of these um, add-in flowers that will poke through all the rest of the other flowers and they'll poke out here and there and then bloom. And you can kind of see from this plant, it looks stringy, but then it fills in. And you can have just say a, a planter of verbena or a hanging basket, just verbena. It does fill out beautifully. But it's one of those uh, flowers that will poke through and trail through and come out, come out in different spots all through like in a hanging basket. And it, it turns out fabulous. Now, another one that we do like to use is scavola. And it's, it's also called fan flower. That's kind of the common name. Scovola is, a little, it doesn't get this big poofy head, but it has more of a longer uh, trailing flower and it'll do the same thing. It'll go through and it'll poke through in all different spots. What I like about fan flower is there's no dead heading. So that's an, it's another alternative to verbena. If you absolutely don't want to dead head, fa the fan flower might be a, a great alternative to you. And, Again, this is another one that you can put into a basket or a container just by itself and it will absolutely fill out and get full. So those are the tips on verbena. You're still going to fertilize them once a week with our Beat Your Neighbor fertilizer. And also at that same time, go through and clean up that hanging basket, the container, and just go ahead and deadhead it. It really doesn't take that much time because it's very simple. You can just pinch it with your, with your fingers. So hope those tips help. Have a great day.